The Kipa project is something that started because there was a need. I was quite surprised when looking into great bookstores that there was nothing on the Korean culture and modern contemporary issues. Kyopo is essentially a person of Korean ancestry that lives outside of the Korean peninsula, hence the Kyopo project. It's a photographic and textual project of over 240 individuals of Korean descent that talk about themselves and the relationships that they have with their ancestral culture as well as the culture that they live in. What you find is that no one really looks like anyone else, that all four seasons are represented. The body gestures are definitely revealing to me of the cultures that these individuals embody. Our identities are changing as time progresses and as we make life choices and decisions to live in certain areas. Some key issues that came out, adoption, generational issues, and mixed races, because we have mixed kyopos, kyopos that embrace the African-American culture as well as the Korean culture that are half Irish, half Jewish. Linda Cho Vestigard, who is a Danish Korean who was adopted, came to New York to do an architectural internship and was exposed to her Korean culture in her late 20s for the first time. Chang Rae Lee, when he was talking about how the Korea that he knows was brought over in the 1960s by his parents in boxes. He doesn't know, and, and a lot of us don't know, what the current Korean native mindset is because we left that, or we know what our parents had taught us, unless we go to Korea a lot, so that was resonant. It is the book, but it's also having exhibitions on an international scale. If we could get this out internationally, as well as end in Seoul, along with the book, then I think the project would be completed.